Hello, very good morning to all of you. So we shall continue with the chapter four, uh, organic chemistry, where we're going to discuss about structure question for organic chemistry. So with the next station, let's begin our lesson. So question starts with number one, isoprene, a monomer of rubber can be prepared using compound A according to the reactions below. So we have uh, A with the uh, bromine in CCL4, and you form this intermediate of 2,3-dibromo-2-methyl-butane. Uh, and then through steps two, you have this, uh, the monomer of the isoprene, uh, which is 2-ethyl-butane-1,3-diene. Uh, Okay, so A, suggest a structural formula for A. So in here, uh, the A in here, based on the structure, you can see that you form a dibromo in here, especially after reacting bromine in CCL4. So this will give you the impression that in between C2 and C3, there shall be a C double bond C. Okay, so the suggested structural formula for A should be the following, where you have CH3, CCH3, CHCH3. Okay, so this is how the structural formula for A should be. B, what is the type of reaction in step two? So that's the condition and reagent to carry it out. So in here, you can see that from CH3, Br, when the both Br disappear, this is of course definitely an elimination reaction. So the type of reactions in here should be an elimination reaction. So what is the condition and reagent used for this reaction? So in here we use ethanolic potassium hydroxide under reflux. So in here condition is ethanolic under reflux. Your reagent is strictly potassium hydroxide. So since in here they does not state name, so if you write the formula, it's also applicable, no problem. Okay. So this is for number two. Number three, propose a mechanism to synthesis uh, CH3, CCH3, Br, uh, 2,3-dibromo, 2-methyl, butane from A. So this is the additional reactions. So you have to uh, learn if, that means that if your A is wrong, then most probably some or part of this mechanism is wrong. So the best way to synthesize this mechanism is starting from the bromine, okay, where you have uh, the alkene attacking the bromine, okay, which is the electrophile. Okay, so you form a bromonium ion, which is the intermediate. Then the bromide ions attack the carbon and cause heterolytic fissions to take place in between the CBR here to form your final product, which is the CH3-BRBR in here. So this is a three-step mechanism that you can use to propose how to synthesize A from, uh, how to synthesize 2 3 bromo 2 methyl butane from A. So that is how you solve for question number one. For question number two, write suitable equations for the required to convert chloride ethane into the following. So see here, see, uh, since in here you can directly see that the difference between number one and number two is in the number of carbon. Now our starting material only had two carbon, in number one, we also have two carbons for amine, whereas number two, we have three carbons from amine. So number one is a very straightforward reaction from here, where for uh, to synthesis ethanamine, okay, you straight away reacting with ethanolic concentrated ammonia under reflux, okay, to form the product of your desire. So CH3, CH2, NH2 plus NH4Cl. So in here. One marks goes to the reagent and conditions here. Okay. Okay, then number two. How do you convert into this product? Okay. So since there is an increase in number of carbon, so you are suggested to use a nitrile, okay, or cyanide to form a nitrile. And then from nitrile, you reduce to become the desired amine. So from the starting from the uh, two uh, chloroethane. So you use ethanolic potassium cyanide under reflux and you form a propane nitrile. So from a propane nitrile, you undergo reductions. Okay, you use the reduction LiAlH4 followed by H3O plus to form your desired product of one uh, propane one amine. So this is a very straightforward reaction. So hopefully you all will be able to uh, write the appropriate synthesis course for this. So that is how you solve for question number 2A. For 2B, a byproduct in the formation of CH3, CH2, NH2 in A1 above has a formula of CHH20 NBR and it gives as an intermediate precipitate with aqua solution. Say the type of reaction in the formation of precipitate 
Hence, suggest the structure by the, uh, by, of the byproduct with the formula C8H20 and Cl. So in here, the type of reaction is definitely a nucleophilic substitution reactions. Okay, now this formation of the precipitate when reacting with silver nitrate is definitely due to the silver ions react with the bromide ions to form the silver bromide. So for the byproduct, what is this formula? So since in here you have C8H20, so originally we have two C, then our byproduct has eight C. In another words, we have four ethyl molecule. So can you imagine when you have C2H5 multiplied by four? So you shall have C8H20, isn't it? So in another words, the byproducts in here is a quaternary ammonium salt. So the suggested structure is looking like this. So that is all for question number B. With that, that is for number two. Immediately we go to the question number three. Two bromobutane can react with potassium hydroxide under different, react, uh, different set of reactions and conditions to give two different products of mixture C and D. So given to you in the process in here, where you have reaction one, you give C4H10O, which is C, and reaction two will give C4H8, which is as a product of D. Describe the condition necessary for number one and number two. So both, remember that both of them are under potassium hydroxide, but under different conditions, they will form different product. So from number one, it is expected that it is a type of hydrolysis reaction. So for hydrolysis, the condition is just under reflux. As for number two, you are forming C4H8, which is an alkyl. So for alkyl, it is definitely an elimination reaction. So the conditions required in here is ethanolics under reflux. B, name the pro byproduct C. So the product C in here, since it is synthesis from two bromobutane, so it is expected that the C is butan 2 o Product D is a mixture of three isomers, all of which decolorize bromine water. Draw display formula of these isomers and state the type of reaction with bromine water. So in here, you can see, the question is just says that there are three possible isomers here. Okay, but if you if we study carefully, there is only two possible way of how HBr is removed. Either HBr is removed from carbon number one, or HBr is removed from carbon number three. So how do you have three product where you can only eliminate two of the hydrogens from the chain in here? So clearly. One of the product in here has also a stereoisomerism. And this stereoisomerism will be further divided into two other categories, and which is the reason why it will give uh, three products in here. Okay, so let's start to answer the questions. Type of the reaction with bromine water, it is a type of additional reactions. Okay, so full answer will be electrophilic additions reactions. As for the three isomers, what are the suggested formula? Definitely the first one is put one in. The second and the third one is a cis and transform of put two in. So you have put one in and put two in. Put two in can be further categorized as a stereoisomerism, namely cis and trans. Since the, uh, since the question does not require you to name, so you do not need to name them, but you should know by yourself that whenever there are three possible structures with only two products, one of them must exhibit an, uh, either a geometrical or optical isomerism. With that, that is how you answer for question number three. Then we go to question number four. The diagram below shows the mechanism of two chloropropane with hydroxide in a single steps reaction. So if you look carefully, so this one, you have OH- attack the carbon, and the CCL bond broken. Slow, you have a space, and then fast, you have the product of two chloromethylene. A two, uh, propan 2 oh, so. A, state the type of mechanism take place in this reaction. So this is obviously a SN2 mechanism, okay? 
The question is just ask straight away the type of mechanism. So, so you must answer as SN1 or SN2 in here. So uh, teacher, can I ask her as a nucleophilic substitution reaction? In this case, very specifically, the questions already state the type of reaction take place in this reaction group. So you must specifically state that either it is SN1 or SN2. So nucleophilic substitution is not enough for your answer. B, complete the diagram below drawing the intermediate form in the box in here. So uh, you are expected to draw the byproduct in here. So you form uh, this uh, unstable intermediate. Okay. So you have COH with CH3CH3 and you have this uh, sign as a double plus in here. So this will give you the two marks. Here. Okay. So that is for number 4A and 4B. As for 4C, write the rate equation for the reaction take place. So the rate equation for the reaction can be written as rate equals to K. So uh, 2 chloropropane times OH minus. B, based on the rate equation in C, state and explain the effects of the reaction for, by the following changes. So how do you compare between 2 chloropropane replaced by 1 chloropropane? So since 2 chloropropane is a secondary um, haloalkane, while 1 chloropropane is a primary haloalkane, so for primary haloalkane, it is more favorable to undergo SN2 mechanism. Therefore, you expected a faster reactions. Okay. So uh, what is the reason? It is because 1 chloropropane is a primary haloalkane, as I explained just now. What about if 2 chloropropane is replaced by 2 iodopropane? So in here, 2 chloropropane with chlorine when you replace with iodine with a larger size, so rate of reaction will increase. Why rate of reaction will increase? So this is due to if you have a larger molecule, larger atomic radius, then you have a longer bond length. Longer bond length means that you have a weaker bond strength. So when you have a weaker bond strength, it is expected that the CI bonds is broken easier compared to CCL bond, hence increase the rate of reaction. So in here you just say that CI bond length is greater than CCL, or you can also answer as CI bond strength is weaker than CCL. So that is how you answer for question number four. Then we continue with question number five. 4 of all carbon are small alkane molecule in which some of the hydrogen atom has been replaced by the atoms of chlorine and fluorine. A. State two use of CFC. 2. What properties CFC causes them to be useful? So there are actually many applications of CFC which include the following. You can answer either as a refrigerant, either, either as an aerosol repellent, fire extinguisher, solvent for dry cleaning. So since it is two marks, you must have two uses. And the question already specifically says that two uses. And then number two, what properties of CFC causes them to be useful? So the most obvious answer is number one, it is volatile, which is low body point. It is immune to chemicals, odorless, non-toxic, and non-flammable. So these are all the very good properties of this CFC which cause them to be apply useful, uh, apply widely in our many of our daily products in here. So you choose any two to be written as your answer since it is two marks. But uh, if you feel that these properties is correct, you may even write more of the problem. B, a typical CFC is CHF2CHCLF. One, name the above according to the IUPAC system. So since there is only two, uh, two fluorine, uh, two carbon, so it is ethane, and then you have chloro and fluorine. So you have uh, chloro and fluorines in C1, and then two fluorine at C2. So you expected you have one, uh, two chloro, one, one, two, tri fluoro, ten. Number two, why does this CFC presence an environmental concern? So actually, with all these benefits of property, still why does it ban widely across the world? So it is due to this compound is easily giving off the free radicals, okay, as it deplete, deplete the ozone layer. And that causes global warming. Because when you form chlorine radicals under the UV light, it is able to react with the ozone molecule in the ozone layer, and destroy ozone layer and cause global warming. Okay, so these are the harmfulness of this CFC towards the environment. 
So with that, that is for question number five. Last but not least, we have question number six. Organic metallic compounds such as organolithium and organomagnesium are very useful organic synthesis. A, give the reaction equation for the preparation of the butylithium. So for the preparation of butylithium, uh, you have to use a very extreme home conditions in here. Okay, so given to you, this is the suitable equation where you have a chlorobutane uh, react with lithium in dry ether under negative 10 degrees Celsius to give a uh, butyl lithium in here. And then B, propose a reaction scheme to synthesis 2 phenyl 2 hexanol from butyl lithium. So 2 phenyl 2 hexanol is a tertiary alcohol. So when you have a tertiary alcohol, you are expected to use a ketone to react with the Brignard reagent in order to synthesis the desired product. So what are the suitable ketones that you use in here? So this is the following flow scheme. When you react with this ketone, when, uh, acetophenone, okay? So you form your desired uh, intermediate in here. You form OLI plus with C, aromatic compound, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Then now you want to change the OLI into alcohol. So you undergo acidic, acidifications where you react with H3O plus so that you form your desired alcohol, which is 2 phenyl 2 hexanol. Last but not least, see, compare the reactivity between the reagent and organolithium. Since now you require extreme cold conditions to react to form butyl lithium, definitely butyl lithium is more reactive. That is why you require more extreme conditions here. So just straight away answer, organolithium is more reactive than the reagents. All right, so I feel, yes, that is all for the discussion for the structure questions. So if there is any place that you do not understand, you can always leave a comment in the comment sections to ask me questions and I'll try my best to reply as fast as I can, okay? So I guess that is all for the structure question. I see you in our next lesson. Bye.